Amber. I'm a registered veterinary technician at VCA Mission San Jose in Fremont, California. When this patient walks in the door, um, the receptionist greet them, and then a technician or myself get a quick history of what they're here for, let the doctor know that they're here and what's going on, and then after the doctor tells us what the game plan is, um, then we kind of go from there like blood work, x-rays, vaccines, the technicians perform all that. My name is Natasha and I am the hospital manager at VCA. My technicians get to do rounds with each other as well as with the doctors. They do vaccines, blood draws, they assist during appointments, um, and then during surgery they'll um, help monitor the patient while the doctor does the surgery itself. You're monitoring anesthesia, you're getting everything open for the doctor, you're helping the doctor position the pet in whatever way that they need to for the procedure, and then you're also recovering the patient and then after care, making sure that they're stable enough to go home and medications are ready to go home. So from start to finish, you kind of just got to dot your I's and cross your T's basically. I guess when I started the program, I didn't have a full aspect of what it entails. I'm like, oh, puppies and kittens and whatever, and it's that plus more. I didn't know when I started that like, you're a dental assistant, you're a surgery technician. The satisfaction from the client, um, that's the most rewarding part, especially if their pet is sick and you've kind of been working with them the whole time. The owners thank you so much to being with their dog or their cat and kind of being through the whole process with them. It makes you feel like you're doing something at the end of the day. So what are you waiting for? To learn more about Carrington College's veterinary technology program, visit carrington.edu today.